Good day. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Atari 8-Bit Gameplay. I have loaded up here another Atlantis software title. This one written by Carl Fitzhugh. And it is called Periscope Up. I just had a glance over the game manual from, uh, uh, from Atari Mania. And uh, let's have a go. Press start to play. Or press fire button as well. So you pilot the sub, <laughs> which apparently, oh boy, so this is not good. Okay, actually, since I did such a, since I made such a cock up of that, I'm going to uh, start over. It's the year 2007 and the VAX 3000 supercomputer at Britain's vast undersea nuclear missile base has malfunctioned. Unless shut down, it will launch hundreds of warheads around the world, triggering global thermonuclear war. Sealed all the entrances. Actually, so this is basically what I read in the manual. Blah, 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 blah. So you pilot the sub here. Fire button launches a scout. The scout can fire. Left and right, I don't think it can fire up and down, nope. And, um, so, that looks like a zero. And, oh, there we go. And over a little bit to the right of where the sub is, the zero door, Oh, and why did I do that, you ask? A fine question. The zero door is now open. Now, turning the sub around seems to move you a bit left or right. And fuel and air also are precious resources. So, I need the number one key. There, can I carry more than one key at a go? There's the three. You can shoot your sub, apparently. The manual says, don't shoot your sub. Oh. So, what happens here? Do I need to dock with it? There we go. I see. Okay, so fuel and air. Air doesn't run out, oh boy, as quick. So, three is open. I'll need four. I wonder if I can pick up the numbers with the sub. That would, that would be <laughs> Okay, so don't do that. Send out your scout to pick up the keys. And then dog with the sub. And beware the collision detection. There's so few. Oh my gosh. know what the question mark is. Oh, I think that's the door code, may or the supercomputer code, perhaps? Anyway, I still need the number one door open, which... Alright, well, this is okay. I mean, the movement is smooth. Did I open the number one door already? I don't think I did. Uh, God, I hope I didn't do that already. If I did, I'm wasting my time here. <laughs> okay, well. Other than me not being very good at, um, at, um, you know, controlling things, not bad. Interesting. So, the most recent Atlantis, I've been on a bit of an Atlantis software kick here. The most recent one I reviewed was pretty terrible. That was called Panic with a K on the end. <clears throat> a, a clone of a arguably even worse game called Apple Panic, which is I learned after I did my video was based on the... Sigh, pay attention what you're doing.
doing maybe which was based on the arcade game Panic and I think it was originally made for the Apple computers I suspect although I guess I didn't confirm that which um, is why it was probably called Apple Panic My, that's a little bit of speculation on my part, so I guess I don't... Right, the one is there, so I need the two to come back and get the one. There's the four, so let's grab that. And now we go through here to find the two, which is... Okay, I'm not actually going to... I don't know what the mystery, the question mark is. Oh, right key code, or computer code, or whatever, supercomputer code. Okay, so there's a slight problem on my part. Uh, I did not grab the fuel because I didn't feel I was low enough. Some of these places you, you don't have a lot of extra room to squeeze through, so I'm still looking for the two. The key to <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. I'm actually going to switch to a joystick here. Uh, see if that does me any better. Maybe not. The only thing the joystick will buy me is easier diagonal. I think. Too close. <laughs> I think too close. Not positive. I feel like I just backed off in the nick of time there. problem is not with the controls. The problem is with me. So I can't blame it on that much as I might like to. Uh, right, I need the four. This isn't bad, you know. I obviously have been kind of making a mess of it, but not a bad little game. Not one I've ever... I, I don't know for crying out loud. Again, problem is with me. Not one I had ever... And is that the game? Oh, one more ship. One more sub. The Not one I've ever run into, though, I must say. Which uh, is interesting to find games that you haven't run into that seem like they're half decent. Now, let's see here. Okay, that was arguably smart, but I made it anyway. Oh my god. Okay. Didn't do any better with the joypad. I, I would kind of like to finish this level, actually. If I continue to die, then I think I will some reasonable amount of time elapsed in my video, I probably will just stop, but um, see if I can't pull it together enough to maybe have a shot at getting past this level, or at least further into the level. So you got to come all the way back here with the one, once you open the one door, door number one, I guess, maybe a better way to say that. Genius. Okay. I'm just going to deliberately lose it there and start that again because I wasn't that far into it. So you're going to have to put up with me hammering on the keys here, I'm afraid. Okay. Or I could, you know, do that and just die for no apparent reason.
All right, well, anyway, typical level of colorfulness of graphics. I guess I had time to go through that second one. I just didn't want to push my luck. but such as they are, they're fine. I guess I could always grab that key code later, but... Oh. Poop! Actually, yet to get very far past this electric wall here. Oh my gosh! What is the matter with me? Uh, right, this is where I had gotten to before, more or less. So I think I need to go down there and engage in some shootery. Scout. No, I, oh, I think I still want to use the scout and go up here to get number door number five. So ideally, you would maybe be smart enough to use the diagonal there, but I'm not. Ooh, coming back through here is a little trickier, isn't it? I guess maybe, oh no, you can't. Sorry, I was going to say you could use the scout, but only the sub allows you to scroll the screen, so you can't really do it with just the scout. Okay, so we opened door number five, so that's pretty good. And we still haven't found door number, am I going to get squished? Oh, God. Still haven't found door number two. Anyway. Oh, no! Okay, did I look suitably goofy there? I'm sure I did. <clears throat> All right, well, these levels are actually fairly long, so uh, maybe another stab or two, depending on how long I survive this attempt. <clears throat> Pardon me. And um, at least I'm getting a little bit farther. Let's see if I can manage not to die too foolishly here. I think I did that one time before, didn't I? <coughs> I'm a slow learner. Okay, now that I've lost a sub, I guess I don't have to. <laughs> oh, God. I'm too busy laughing at my own stupidity to pay attention to the game. Oh my gosh. This is one for the ages. The, the annals of stupidity in gameplay. You can, we can put this one in there. My video on this game can just go right into that that uh, chronicle. I don't feel like I'm like excessively tired or anything. Oh my god. What is the matter with me? 
pull myself closer to the damn screen. Try to focus here. Maybe I'm just too tired to be playing games. I don't know. I don't know. It's not that late. Oh, I guess it's almost 10 o'clock. And I'm old now, so 10 o'clock is like late, man. close. That was close too. Whew. Oh, there's the two key. So we need the, once we get the five door key, we can come back here and backtrack. Did I ever get the five? Oh, it's up there, right. Okay. Okay, so from here, if I get the five. Oh, God. I just about killed myself again. So coming this way is not that hard. But. But coming back is a little more challenging. Okay, let's grab this. Oh, I'm almost out of fuel. Oh, shit. I'm gonna run out of fuel and lose a sub, aren't I? Maybe I can get this key before that happens. <laughs> okay, go sub, go. Actually, going back the other way is not that hard. Okay. Okay, well, there's another way to do it. Just commit suicide. Oh! Man, this is going to turn into a long video. Okay, I would like to just try and get just a little further. I won't uh, make the same fuel mistake this time. I will assume that I'm going to survive and um, pick up that fuel by that first uh, Super Vax 3000 key code thing, code thing. Oh, for Pete's sake. What on earth was that? Again, me. I mean, I could complain that the collision detection is too fussy, but it isn't really. It's, I mean, the sub's a little large, but it's not like they move super, super fast or anything. Okay, two door, door number two, I should say. Door number four. Four door, the four door sedan, three door sedan, and the two door sedan. Oh, I'm a genius. Apparently, so I'm gonna lose. Okay, now I don't need the fuel. Okay, all right. Good. Really good. What, what, what was I saying about the annals of stupidity? I do not retract that statement. I stand by it. The, the animation on the scout is, and, the, and the electric doors are actually pretty good. I must say. Sweet, sweet time, trying not to die. T 
take note those plunger things come down how about that action okay now we will get the is that all both with scout they are both scout pickups okay right try to remember that so i don't foolishly die again There's the five, door number five, and we actually did, I did, do not we, you're not playing, I'm playing. I actually did pick up the five door, door the key to door number five, which is over here. Oh, that was good. One shot only. Key to door number five. So the fuel situation here is a little. Oh, actually no, it's not bad. I was gonna say it's a little touchy, but that's not that's not true. I think there's fuel back here somewhere. I wasn't paying close attention to that. There's the key to door number two. So we can take our scouty scout scout and zip in there. That's a little tricky actually. And now that opens up the way to the um, Ooh, touch and go. Almost out of fuel now, or well, getting there anyway. There's number one. No fuel though? Seriously? Yoikes! That's touchy. <laughs> okay, I solved my fuel problem. I solved my fuel problem in the best way possible. So this is okay. So there's your next fuel pickup. Oh no! Oh damn it! I, I panicked. That was kind of dumb, like quite dumb actually. Uh, I don't need fuel now though. So there's door six and seven. Oh no! Oh god! Oh my god! Da. Uh. Okay. My play was honestly terrible. Um, I feel like uh, any marginally talented video game player should be able to do better than that. Um, so, But that's a pretty good look at the game mechanics. There might be more after level one, I have no idea. It might take me 150 games to actually get past that point, so I'm not going to make you sit through that. Not that you have to, you can turn this off anytime. In fact, odds are essentially nobody's watching at this point. I notice my average video watch time is something like a little less than three minutes, which I think I've commented on this before. I mean, that's fine. I, that's, I'm not going to tell people what they need to do or should do, but that is quite foreign to my YouTube habits. If I'm, in, unless a video is just terrible, which maybe my videos are just terrible. I guess that, that's a that's a possible explanation. <laughs> I had no I only thought of that right just now. So anyway, maybe they're terrible and that's why people don't watch. But what I suspect is that people are just in the habit of moving on so quickly, you know, you only watch a few minutes of something and then you bounce to the next thing. Which I don't normally do unless I'm trying something new and it's just terrible, as I started to say. I tend to watch videos from start to finish. I mean, the only thing I'll sometimes bounce over, depending on the kind of mood I'm in, is, um, you know, when there's uh, sponsorships. Uh, there's one, 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 one YouTuber that I like to watch that uh, his content is great, and I'm not going to say who it is, but his product placements tend to be like three or four minutes long, and that's... Honestly, that's just too much. So 
you know, I'll listen for 30 seconds or so, but anything more than that, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fast forward to the actual meat of the video again. All right, enough YouTube ranting. That's Periscope Up, 1988 Atlantis software programmed by Carl Fitzhugh. Thanks very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.